This video shows how to program the DS-52 stationary decoder. This decoder is designed to control two slow motion turnout machines such as Tortoise or Switchmaster or Circuitron or two solenoid type switch machines such as Pico, Atlas or other bipolar turnouts. In order to program you must first move the program jumper which is located here. For the sake of instruction we're using bipolar LEDs to indicate the switch machines and to show how they react to the DS-52. They are connected to terminals 1, 3, 6, and 8. Track power is connected to terminals 3 and 4. In order to safely move the program jumper we must make sure that track power is off. programming jumper is moved from the open position only one pin to the closed position where it actually jumps both pins on the program point. Now we're ready to program. Now a word of caution be sure to turn that power off before you handle the jumpers. Now turnout addresses do not have to be sequential if you do not program the second address within 16 seconds allowed by the DS-52, it will automatically assign the next higher number to the second address. So I'll move quickly. I'll turn off track power, move the program jumper, prepare the program by setting the address in the throttle in switch mode, and then operating the switch either thrown or closed. Then I will immediately set the second address throw it, close it, and I'll be done in less than 16 seconds. So here we go. Turn on track power, switch 22, close it, switch 44, close it, and it's done. It times out to the 16 seconds and the programming is complete. I'll check that at the end of the 16 seconds to see if it's done. 44 gets a pulse either in the plus direction or the minus direction for switch 44. Switch 22 operates in the plus and minus direction and we now have twin coil switch machine programming complete. The DS-52 is now ready for operation using the two addresses you have just programmed in. Now, since the DS-52s do not have their own individual addresses, they will be recognized by the switch addresses they contain, for example, 22 and 44. Should you ever need to change the switch addresses, simply repeat the steps above while entering the new addresses. Configuration of DS-52 outputs. The DS-52 comes from the factory set to control solenoid switch machines. Note the open configuration of the configuration jumper. If you wish to change the configuration of the DS-52 to control slow motion machines, first turn power off. Next, move the configuration jumper to the closed position. Turn power back on and the machine is now configured to control slow motion switch machines. In this case we have switches 22 and 44. The DS-52 instruction manual has a very nice set of charts in the back that allow you to identify the switch address for each output, the turnout type, and to assign a number for DS-52, and to show the location of your DS-52s on your layout. Use these, and that way you'll never forget what your switch addresses are. This concludes programming of the Digitrax DS-52.